Heat transfer. Conduction, convection, and radiation. What exactly is heat transfer? Well, this is just the process by which heat energy moves from one place to another. Keep in mind that whenever heat energy is moving, whether it's on the surface of the Earth, in the Earth's atmosphere, or even out in space, it's going to travel from hot areas to cold areas. Areas from higher energy to areas of lower energy. And how does it do that? Well, there are three methods of heat transfer. They're called conduction, convection, and radiation. And let's take a look at each one of these and how exactly they work, starting with conduction. Conduction is a heat transfer that's caused by molecular contact. And that word contact is going to be your key word for conduction. Let me give you an example. Let's take a flame that's producing heat energy. And let's bring a metal object, in this case a spoon, and hold it over that flame. Well, as you can imagine, heat is going to travel from the tip of the spoon, which is the part that's in contact with the heat, throughout the handle of the spoon. And the reason this is happening is because the little molecules within this spoon are vibrating as they heat up. And they're transferring that vibrational energy from one molecule to the next to the next. And so you can see the heat is being transferred through the spoon because the molecules are in contact with each other. That's the best example of conduction. So what's another type of heat transfer? Well, let's look at convection. Convection is something that we experience in our everyday lives. And it's the simple idea that energy will be transferred due to differences in density. And of course, density differences will be the key words for convection. Well, what do we mean? Well, and often this will occur when we have gases or liquids that are being heated up. And as we know, when we heat up air or water, it's going to become less dense, causing it to float or rise. Of course, everyone's familiar with the expression, hot air rises, and that is what we're talking about here. So a good example would be to simply have, say, a campfire here. And if you look carefully, you'll see the smoke above the campfire is rising straight up into the air. And that's because that air is less dense than the surrounding air because of its heat, and so it's going to float. Another uh, example of convection would be to think of a lava lamp. Lava lamps work on the principle of convection. There's a light bulb in the bottom, which heats the wax inside, causing it to become less dense, and it rises. When it gets to the top of the lava lamp, it's away from the light bulb, and so it cools down and sinks back down to the bottom, where the process repeats. Convection is all about heat causing things to become less dense and floating or rising. This is what causes many of the weather, seri uh, weather systems we experience on Earth. Finally, we have radiation. Now, radiation is a heat transfer in the form of waves. Waves of energy radiating through empty space or through air or through any substance. The key word for radiation would be waves. And if you think of an old-fashioned incandescent light bulb, which gives off a lot of heat, if you put your hands near this light bulb, whether it's on top of it or around the sides, you're going to feel heat radiating off the light bulb, traveling as little waves of energy. This too, by the way, is the process by which energy travels from the sun to the earth. Radiation is important because this can take place even in a vacuum where we have no gases, no liquids. And so this is how energy travels through space in the forms of radiating waves. So those are our three types of heat transfer. Let's just summarize. Conduction is all about contact. For example, heat traveling through the handle of a metal spoon. Convection is about density differences. Heat rising, for example, in a lava lamp. And radiation is traveling as wave motion. For example, sunlight traveling through, the space, through space to the Earth. We can summarize all these in one simple picture. If I have a campfire and a frying pan, the frying pan will heat up due to conduction, molecular contact. The air above the fire will rise due to convection. And energy will radiate, radiate out to the sides through radiation. And so those are three methods of heat transfer conduction, convection, and radiation.